Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Toad Toad, and today I'm going to be talking about multiverse syndrome. Okay, so if you don't know the deal, basically, I do this thing, and as far as I have found, I'm really the only uh, source of information on this that I that I know of. Uh, as far as I have found, you can... Wait, what? Anyway, it's possible to enter the multiverse and parallel realities. So, okay, so when you do this, what you're doing is you're disconnecting from one reality to connect to another reality, okay? Now, the purpose of this, how it's best used if you want to find inner peace and happiness, how it's best used is you can enter another universe and fulfill your purpose there, okay? or work toward fulfilling your purpose there, or en then enter another one, and do the same there, and another one, do the same there, okay? Okay, you can have a hundred universes going at once, and but every in every thing, single one of them, you want to be working toward your purpose in that given lifetime, in that given universe, okay? So it's like you have the richest dad on Earth, okay? And, and you have a phone, and you say you want another phone, so you get another phone. Now, if you have, okay, if you have the screen on this phone on, and you're looking at this phone, and you only ever use this phone, but you still have this screen on, and sometimes you, like, swipe between pages on the home screen, and then you go back to this one, then you're not fulfilling your purpose in this phone, this universe, but you are in this one. Or maybe you're not in either of them, you're just swiping pages on them, not really accomplishing anything. Maybe you're playing Candy Crush. Uh, well, I guess that would be considered fulfilling your purpose as well in the metaphor. Not in reality, but in the metaphor. So, anyway. Yeah. That's what it is. It's when you travel between universes enough to where you're no longer fulfilling your purpose in any reality, really. Okay? So you're kind of disconnected, and that leads to depression. Okay? And that makes you want to escape, so you go to another universe. And then you're not fulfilling your purpose in that one, so you want to escape. You go to another one. And then, uh, before you know it, you've accomplished nothing nothing okay and so I'm going to tell you how to not do that you can still travel between universes but in every one try to find your purpose or if you already know it in that one try to fulfill it or work toward that unless you're like a toddler or something because then you're you know it a toddler so um yeah yeah and how you can practice this is by, if you have become disconnected from this reality, that here's a sign, okay? When you think, you won't be thinking in terms of this universe. And I won't be think I'm not saying you'll be thinking in terms of uh, if you travel to a different universe. I'm, I'm, th I'm saying you'll be thinking in terms of things that are not in this reality, period. Okay? And that's what you'll be thinking all the time. All right? And if you're constantly thinking of things that aren't in this reality, then and don't and don't uh, don't affect your life at all, your purpose and your experience. And if you're constantly thinking about things like what this celebrity or that celebrity did, or um, how the stock market's doing, well, that could affect your life. Never mind. Uh, but the celebrity thing couldn't, or or uh, you know, other things. If you're constantly thinking about things that don't affect you or your life, then don't think about them. Think about things that actually matter to you that will improve your life, that will improve your experience. Because this is what your this is what your purpose is. It's an experience. Okay. Your higher self is the real you. Your ego will dissolve, but your higher self will remain and have another experience, and another, and another, and another. Unless, of course, you absorb into the higher self and become another part of it, an addition to it. Okay? So, and the only way you're going to probably do that is by fulfilling your purpose. So, yeah. When you're pacing, when you're thinking, however you think, if you think on the couch, if you think while you're watching TV but not really watching TV, you know what I'm talking about, like passively watching TV. If you think while you're in the shower, then just 
direct your thoughts toward things that are going to affect your life. Like before I figured this out, before I figured out that I wasn't connected to this reality, okay, that I was too much into the multiverse, okay, and yeah, and not enough into um, this reality. What I did was I imagined what could make this experience better. And I do this thing on a yoga ball, okay, where I, I'm not going to tell you. You'll steal my invention. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's, I'm, I'm going to try to invent something. Anyway. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Just direct your thoughts toward things that are going to bring you joy in this life. Whatever brings you joy is your purpose. And whatever is your purpose is going to bring you joy. And whatever is going to do that is going to be the correct experience, okay? And not necessarily joy. Not necessarily a, 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 like a high vibrational feeling. Well, maybe a high vibrational feeling, but not necessarily like a, like a good feeling. But more like, more like this. You feel like you're doing it right. You feel like you're where you're supposed to be. You feel like you feel like you're in the flow. You're you're in you feel like you're just water through a pipe constantly moving forward. That's how you know you're fulfilling your purpose, okay? Uh so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and yeah. See ya.